What's up, freaks in the VIP? It's Steve here as I'll do a quick Sunday mental check-in. Just check in on you, see how things are going, see how you're handling things in the crazy times that we're living in. I want to also check in, make sure you're staying productive, staying positive. And that's what this is all about, a mental check-in. Because I want to let you know, and I'm sure you see it, the, the negativity that's out there, the negative thoughts, the negative news, the negative shit going on social media, the negative conversations swarming us all around. And if you allow it to, and yes, you have to allow it to, if you allow it to, this stuff will bury you. It will drown you. It'll keep digging you deeper and deeper into a hole, into a pit. Because negative thoughts repeated over and over. There's something like 40, 50, I don't even remember, something like 40 or 50,000 thoughts that you have a day. And nowadays, especially something like 90% of them are negative thoughts. So if you're doing this, when you're doing these repeated negative thoughts, all you're re doing is releasing, eventually release, releasing cortisol. And of course, I don't know if you know it, we want a small amount of cortisol is healthy. But once it goes to an increased amount of cortisol, that becomes completely unhealthy. So what releases cortisol? Ang having anger, living in anger, living in fear, feeling depressed, feeling isolated, feeling resentment. Those are the things that are going to cause this cortisol re release. And what, and what that's going to do is lead you to what you might be even feeling some of right nowadays. Anxiety, insomnia, irritability, depression, poor concentration, poor memory, fatigue, exhaustion, panic. Now, these are not things that you can afford to be thinking right now. Not afford, these are not things you can afford to be feeling right now. And that's mostly on the mental and emotional side. On the physical side, cortisol literally can lead to weight gain and weight gain usually and, and the studies show in your face and in your in your abdomen like uh, specifically somehow that's where it goes to it can also lead to increased blood pressure diabetes muscle fatigue as well as the mental fatigue so you're getting hit both mentally physically and emotionally by cortisol just from your thoughts like think about that think about how powerful that just shows you the power of your mind it shows you the power of your freaking brain the power of your thoughts, the power of your mental energy, the power of your emotional energy, that you can have thoughts and cause yourself to have high blood pressure, to, to, to have poor com concentration, to panic, to have depression, to be irritable, to, to affect the way that you operate throughout the day. Like that's a, that's a crazy, crazy when you think about it, that just negative thoughts can do that to you. And what is controlling those negative thoughts? What's creating it? Well, obviously the social media stuff, the news, but it's also controlled just by your, your personality, your character, controlled by your, your past experiences, your current experiences that you're in, and your previous education and current education can do it, your surroundings, your belief systems. But I'll tell you, all those things are under your control. You can choose to educate yourself differently by feeding different sources of knowledge into you currently. So you can overpower those negative beliefs and negative surroundings that you used to have. You control all this stuff because what you need is to get these small victories, small wins, small hits of dopamine to counteract this high level of cortisol you're having. So how can you do this? How can you do this? How can you fight the higher levels of cortisol? Well, make sure you're getting your sleep. Make sure you're doing it. Wear yourself out during the day with exercise. Work out twice a day if you have to with healthy nutrition, not carb loading and all this other crap that's going to keep you all screwed up mentally and physically and screw up your sleep schedule. Maintain your social relationships. Sure, you can't do it in person, but you could do it things like this. You could be on the phone. You can do what you have to do. Still get outside. Get some air. Go for a walk. You have, you have pets. Pets are huge, literally huge for lowering cortisol. It's crazy. But if you have a pet, an animal, go play with your kids. Schedule some time to relax, schedule time for meditation, schedule time for journaling, for writing, getting your thoughts, getting all that shit jumbled out of your head out onto paper. Think of every day, every moment of, am I operating as the best freaking self that I could be? Am I operating as the best version of myself today? Or am I being that complainer, that whiner, that person that is being irritable, that person that is in having increased levels of cortisol? That's the way you need to think about it. You need to find ways to make Shit fun. Sure, you're stuck at home. Sure, whatever. It sucks for everyone. I understand that. But you need to find ways to combat it, to battle it. Of course, even supplements. If you're not eating fish, make sure you have fish oil supplements is a huge one to help you out. Also, boosting your immune system. 
And these are all things. It's crazy. The things that like we're teaching to do now is really what you should have been doing all along. So when shit happens, it's just business as usual and it doesn't affect you as much. But if you haven't been doing this stuff, now is a bet the better time than ever to get started. And when it comes to social media, go on social media with an intentional purpose. Like go on to just strictly come here to the VIP page or strictly to go talk to your, your friends and family. Don't do the nonstop endless scrolling where you see all these negative articles and you click on it, it goes to a news site, goes to a YouTube video, which leads you to another one. Next thing you're in this never ending pit, this endless pit of just negativity and garbage and bullshit. You need to avoid that stuff. And the news, sure you want to be in the know, you want to be up to date with stuff. And I'll tell you what, I've, I've looked at the news more in the last two, three weeks than I have in the last five or six years, literally, because I don't watch news at all. But in things like this, we need to stay up to date on what's going on in the world. You need to be in the know, but you don't need to be in the know every 15 freaking seconds. Check the news once a day, twice a day. Because I'll tell you what, at, at noon and then maybe at whatever, 6 p.m., if that's all you checked it, nothing, that, there's not going to be that big of a difference in between. If there's some immediate thing you need to know about, your friends, your family, someone's going to let you know about it. And if those people are letting you know about every little thing, you need to edit that relationship and limit it also. you got to... Take all that negativity, get rid of it somehow. And again, that's in your surroundings. And if your surroundings, you're stuck in a surrounding that's negative, you need to be the leader to step up and put your foot down and draw the line in the sand and say, listen, this is how it's going to be. This is how it has to be. You need to step up as a role model and the leader to get rid of that negativity because it's just going it, to be a negative, vicious cycle with the, that whole cortisol, which think about it, just the negative thoughts, the physical, mental, and emotional damage it's going to do to your freaking body. But the great news of all this is everything that we've mentioned here, everything, and we can't control, you can't control the government, you can't control a virus, you can't control the whatever rules and laws and lockdowns and quarantines and all this other stuff. You can control none of that. But everything that we're talked about in this video so far, you have complete control over. You can control your thoughts on it. You can control whether you're negative or positive. That's a decision you're making. So when you're negative and letting stuff affect you, that is your choice, your decision. You could decide not to let it affect you. You could decide not to let it give you anxiety and making you irritable and make you feel down and depressed. It is your decision alone to not feel panicked because then this stuff's going to make you feel fatigued and exhausted. Your blood pressure is going to raise up there. You're going to be even having even less control. You're going to start losing control of your emotions. You are in control of these thoughts. You are in control of this situation. You're in control even of your education. Educate yourself on stuff. Pour more positivity into you. Start reading some more educational, motivational books, not just reading a bunch of bullshit and gossip and news and all these conspiracy, all this other shit that you have zero control of. Focus on the shit you can control and just have a disregard for the rest of what you can't control. Yes, be in the know, but you don't have to be in the know every 10 freaking seconds. So control your thoughts and you will have control of your anxiety, of your insomnia, of your depression, of your, your concentration, your memory, your fatigue, your exhaustion. You'll have control of your panic and your weight gain. You'll have control of your blood pressure. You'll have control of your blood sugar. You'll have control of your muscular fatigue. You won't have to worry about any of that. Get your sleep, get your exercise, get your nutrition. Maintain your social relationships whatever way you can. Find time to relax, meditate, and to journal. Operate as the best you, not the worst you. Use this as, as an excuse to step up. Be the role model. Be the leader. Be the best version of yourself instead of making it as an excuse to be this negative, con news consuming beast and animal that just was releasing not only because cortisol is a, is a funny thing, it's infectious. You act this way, this negative energy is infectious to everyone around you. So not only does your cortisol go enhanced and you become more fatigued and exhausted and panicked and crazy and, and, and anxiety and insomnia, but that's infectious to people around you. Cortisol is infectious, but you know what? So is dopamine. So is positivity. So is motivation. So that's the way you decide the tracks you need to be on. You need to be on. There is no other choice. There is no other option. And again, the greatest thing of all this is that you have complete control of all this. So make sure you know that you have complete control of every single thing we're talking about here. No one controls that but you. You are the CEO of your life. You are the CEO of your freaking mind. 
You are in charge of your mind. You cannot let anyone invade that personal mental space or hijack that mental, your, your emotions. Don't let the news do it. Don't let social media do it. You are in control of it. So I need your commitment on that to stay positive, stay motivated, be the role model, be the leader that your, your family, your friends, your neighbors, your, your kids, that strangers, that the world, that society, that the planet need you to be and that you deserve to be. That's what we need to be. That's the, the, the way we need to be attacking this and the, frame, the mindset we need to have, the way we need to reframe this stuff. It is all up to you in the power of your thoughts and emotions. Because that when they say the power of your mind, the power it is because it's so freaking powerful. We just listen, everything that just your mind can do to your body, like physically, you can give yourself blood pressure and gain weight in specific areas of your body just from negative thoughts. That's some powerful shit. So think about what you can do with the positive thoughts and the and not just thoughts. Positive thoughts are useless. They're a great start. At least they're not negative thoughts, but then they need to be followed up with freaking action. Action. Lead with your feet. Speak with your feet. Be the role model that your family freaking needs at this time. The one they look at and like, that's who I need to be around. That's who I need to follow. That person has their shit together. That person's not freaked out and panicked and moped around, sitting in their damn pajamas all day. That's the way you need to operate. That's the way I need you to operate right now. Don't miss your workouts. Get on the Zoom workouts. Get on the Facebook workouts. Log into the portal. Stay active on the VIP page. Post your meals. Stop cheating on your meals. Stay disciplined. Discipline is going to lead to the confidence. It's going to lead to the positivity. It all starts with your personal discipline, your self-discipline. That's where it all starts. That's where being a role model starts is with your self-discipline. Everything we're talking about, self-discipline is what is going to help you control those thoughts. Have self-discipline in your mind, self-discipline in your body, self-discipline in your nutrition, self-discipline in your leadership with your family as being a role model. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, need help with anything, just reach out to me. Let me know. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.